Welcome to Deering Estate. On today's virtual field trip, we will be learning about animal adaptations through a fish dissection. Fish are aquatic vertebrates that use gills to breathe. They breathe oxygen just like us, except the gills filter out the oxygen from the water itself. Fish are categorized into two different groups. You have bony fish and cartilaginous fish. Cartilaginous fish are fish like sharks and rays that have a skeleton composed of cartilage. This is ballyhoo, a common shallow water bait fish. You can see here that it has a half beak. It is attached to their bottom jaw. Scientists still don't really know what it's used for. Um, it's easily broken. So we, we know for sure that it's not used to puncture um, prey items. Another hypothesis is that the beak may be for streamlining the body of this fish because it is very fast. You can see here the tail fin, also known as the caudal fin, has a deep V. And in fish, that usually means it has to be very fast. And as a bait fish, that means it's always being chased by All right. Another key feature are the scales. All fish have scales, even sharks. They're just very small. You can see here this clear feature. This is the scale itself. In some fish, you can actually use the scale to age the fish. You can Animals exhibit counter shading, just like this ballyhoo. So the bottom is a light color, so that when it is swimming towards the top, the sun shining through creates a camouflage for this fish. And then the top is dark so that when it's down below, the dark blue water hides it from predators above. This is the operculum, also known as the gill cover, and it hides the gills. And if you open it up, you can see the red feather-like gills that is for filtering out the oxygen from the water. This external feature is the lateral line. All fish have these and they use it for schooling. Um, through this lateral line, they can feel the vibrations of other fish around them. Now that we can see the internal anatomy of the fish, we can observe the liver, the stomach attached to the intestines, and the swim bladder. Now we are cutting out the stomach so we can see what this ballyhoo's diet consists of. You can already see a little bit of green coming out. So this tells us that this is a primarily herbivorous fish. However, they can eat small zooplankton and other larvae species. Now we are going to remove the swim bladder. You can see that it is a bubble filled sack. This is actually used for buoyancy. We hope you enjoyed this virtual field trip at Deering Estate. This fish used for this dissection is a bait fish. Please do not remove animals from their natural environment. See you later.